Hi, this is Brian West. I'm with Vipro Mobile, and uh, we're preparing this informal video along with Lally Visual to share with Chris Burnett and everybody at the American Jazz Museum in the Blue Room. Uh, Chris, we had a meeting with you last week, and we shared with you some of the ideas about the next communication channel, which is mobile marketing. And we thought uh, if we put together some of these thoughts for you, that you could share these with other people on the team who are interested in trying to help grow revenue for the Blue Room and, and really any of the entities at the American Jazz Museum. So uh, we're just going to rip, rip through these things and kind of show you what we talked about in summary. But in, in essence, if we can use mobile marketing well, we can leverage... Uh, mobile devices to help build extra transactions and, biz and increase your business. And we're using two tools. It's permission-based text message marketing, as well as mobile websites, mobile apps, and mobile loyalty programs. And uh, just before I get too far into it, just share with you a little bit about Vipro Mobile. We're based here in Kansas City, and prior to co-founding this company, I was a VP of business development at the text message marketing company in Kansas City, who developed the software and the philosophy that 24,000 businesses are using as we speak today. So we helped, and through our distribution network, helped anything from the University of Notre Dame to Subways to Pizza Huts use text message marketing to increase their revenue. So I'm going to show you exactly how we do that here in a minute. But the reason why these companies are leaning towards mobile marketing is because of a couple really remarkable statistics. 97% of adults 18 to 44 own a mobile device. So all of your customers typically already have a mobile device. But the most remarkable statistic is that when the Blue Room sends out a thousand text messages, we know that 970 of them get opened. The open rate on a text message is very high. And the reason why is because it's the same thing for you. The reason you always open up every text message is because it's either people you know or you work with who text you or select companies who you have opted into. And that is the key. Everything we do is permission-based marketing. And when you compare that to email, you know, if you send out a thousand emails, about 220 of them will get read compared to nearly, you know, 970. So it's five times more powerful. And if email marketing is working for you, continue to do it. We just think that you should consider making sure that you can stay in touch with some of your customers via text message. And this other statistic might seem kind of strange. The average response time is 90 seconds when you send a text message. And here's why it matters to the Blue Room when you think about it. You know, if Bobby Watson is there for an hour and a half concert, you have an hour and a half to get as much revenue as you can out of each consumer. And so we can send precise text messages at exactly a time to say, hey, come up to the bar, get a special drink, buy one, get the second one half off. And we can send those to those people while, while they are in your bar and we know that they will see that text message. And that's compared to 90 minutes is the average response time in an email. By that time, the concert's over with. So we want to stay in touch with your customers through their mobile device. And we know when we send out a mobile coupon or some sort of mobile offer, as opposed to a coupon or an incentive in a paper, we have a 10 times higher redemption rate. And the reason why is because 91% of us, we all have our phones within reach 24-7. If you're going to go to the Blue Room, you're not it's not quite as cool or hip to bring a coupon book or, or you know, a bunch of pieces of paper, but by certainly you'll be bringing your mobile device so you can always redeem your coupon by showing your phone. And so the, the rest of the things we're going to show you here in this, this little short movie is how to get extra transactions. And one way to think of this is let's say 3,000 different people came to the Blue Room in a year. And let's say we can compel each of them to come back one more time or the average customer to come one more time this year. Well, that's 3,000 more transactions. And let's say the average transaction is worth 50 bucks. Well, that's $150,000. So the whole key is to stay in touch with your customers and compel them to come back just once more or just get one more beverage or one more service. So uh, we also have uh, very unique strategies on how you can acquire new customers through mobile devices and also how we can grow your social media. Like let's say for instance a customer just redeemed a mobile coupon at the bar at the Blue Room. Wouldn't it be great if they could just hit a button and then post it to their Facebook to say, hey, I'm having a great time here at the, at the Blue Room and I just got this great drink special. Well, we, we make those things happen for you. And also we have very specific strategies on how to double email open rates by adding mobile marketing. And when we do these things well, we can increase your revenue. 
and Lally Visual and Viapro Mobile collectively are going to help you to, to run the mobile marketing. You guys can run your bar and run your restaurant and run your clubs and your museums and we can help run the mobile marketing for you. And In the end, if we can increase the frequency of transactions, that increases your revenue. And if even if everyone just came by one more time a year, that's good. Or bought one more drink. Or maybe we could even get three to five transactions or three to five additional um, drinks in a year per customer. And then awareness about events and new offerings. The American Jazz Museum and, and the Blue Room and all your venues, you have so much to offer. It'd be great to have every single venue have your own loyalty programs for people who like to go to events at the gym versus you know, people who like the, uh, the ribs program. So by 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 doing that and also growing your social media. Now this isn't covered here in this movie, but also we have strategic or very specific strategies on how to grow your customer base and how to use traditional media to help make that mobile marketing. And so in the end we're going to make you revenue and, and we would predict between fifty thousand and a hundred thousand dollars in the next twelve months. So since I mentioned revenue, let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's say we just do this at the Blue Room and let's say we get 10 opt-ins per day. And the whole point of it is, let's say a waitress walks up to a table and there's a couple there and they have their smartphones out. They could say, hey, by the way, um, I see you have some smartphones. We're trying to do all of our drink specials and promotions via text message. Um, uh, and uh, take, you know, and if you'd like, take a look at this brochure. So this could be like a laminated brochure or something that you could you could set on the table, and where it basically says text in or scan this QR code to get special offers and loyalty things. And so let's say you offered that to 150 people a night. We certainly would get 10 people a night to to take you up on that. And so that's the whole point. We get opt-ins every single day. And let's say we send three text messages a month to people who have opted into our mobile marketing. Well, um, which would be, you know, two to three a month is about fair. Now, we know when we send out text messages, the response rate is between two and seven percent. So let's say three percent of the people respond. And of course, depending on the promotion, sometimes it could be more, sometimes it could be less. But and then let's assume your average transaction is fifty dollars. So maybe a couple tickets at twenty dollars, and then a, a ten dollar drink. And I don't really know what your average transaction is, but let's just talk about this. Now, when we send out text messages, there is a small charge of three point eight cents per text. That's because we pay AT and T and Sprint and T Mobile and all these companies to deliver it. And then for Lally Visual and Viapro Mobile to run your mobile marketing is about eighty nine dollars a month for the Blue Room. So let's take a very good look at this. So we get 10 opt-ins in a day by doing our cross-channel marketing and the things we know how to do. In one month, we'll have 300 people in our mobile marketing database. Now, we'll start sending text messages to them at about three per month. So that's 900 text messages in the first month. And uh, the, the investment is 3.8 cents per text message, which would be $34. So really, just a dollar a day to get 900 messages that get seen 97% of the time. So that's not bad. Now, we know somewhere between 2 and 7% of those people will come in and buy. Let's say it's 3%. Well, that would be 27 additional transactions or about another transaction a day which is pretty easy to, to, to foresee. And if that transaction's worth 50 bucks, that's $1,200 a month. An increased revenue by staying in touch with people with a very simple black and white text message. Now the mobile marketing is 89 plus your texting, which is 123. And that gets you 1,200 in your first real month of campaigning. That's a 10 to one ROI. And that's the worst we can do probably. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna get 10 opt-ins in a day every single day. We're going to motivate our bartenders and our waiters and waitresses to, to, to make sure to engage your customers. Hey, by the way, text in to get our mobile offers. We're going green. We don't want to advertise in pa uh, via paper anymore. All right, so if we in three months, we'd have 900 people in our database, which would translate still at a low redemption rate of 3% to 81 additional customers, maybe at 50 bucks. Well, that's $3,500 in increased revenue or a 20, 20 to 1 return on investment. And then the fifth month, we would expect 1,500 people to be in our database. And then when we have something to promote, send out that text message and maybe we can get an extra 100 customers or 135 customers or 6,000 in revenue. This annualizes out to be $55,000 in the first 12 months of doing mobile marketing. 
And again, it's a it's a setup fee plus eighty nine a month and and three point eight cents per text message. So mobile marketing flat out makes sense, and that's why these companies around the United States uh, are, are are relying on mobile marketing. And here's one other way to think about this: if we send out a thousand text messages, we know between two and seven percent are going to redeem it. Um, and in the cost to send out a thousand text messages at four cents is forty bucks. So if we end up getting thirty additional transactions in a night, and whatever that average transaction is, is going to help get you a very very good high return on investment. And one last way to think about return on investment is this: let's say we have one hundred and fifty people in your club in any one night, and we send out a text message to those people, a special for that night with those people that are there. You know, if we get eight or nine or ten percent of the people in the club to respond, that could be another fifteen or twenty drinks at another ten dollars per drink or per drink transaction. If you get that, you know, buy one get one free or something like that, well, that can that can lead to significant returns on on investment for each night. And the last thing, statistics to think about when it comes to return on investment is the actual. Uh, customer acquisition cost. So what does it really cost to market to a, a potential person for a year? Well, whenever someone opts in, we tell them right in the paperwork, we'll send you up to three text messages a month. And it costs about four cents per text. So it's 12 cents a month. Well, there's 12 months in a year. So in a year, we're going to spend $1.20 to send 36 text messages to people, to a person. And when you think about it, you can't even send a postcard for 12 cents. And we're talking about sending 36 uh, text messages in a year for dollar twenty, and if we can, if that can lead to one transaction, even at ten dollars, that's return on investment, much less a fifteen or a twenty dollar ticket or a fifty dollar transaction amount. So that's what mobile marketing is, and that's kind of what we touched on. And uh, Chris, please uh, feel free to share this video with others at the American Jazz Museum in Blue Room. My name is Brian West with Vipro Mobile, and here I am posing with my trumpet because I'm also the leader of a 12-piece rhythm and blues show band here in Kansas City. And uh, so that's what I do when I'm not being a mobile marketer. And Joseph Lally with Lally Visual has helped prepare this presentation, and you can reach him at this phone number as well. Thank you for your time.